So here we have a pocket door here, and pocket doors are a great idea for, actually it's not a pocket door yet, it's, it's pocket door framing. Um, pocket door is a great way for saving space when you, you know, if you have a hallway, you don't want to open the door into a room, like this is a closet here, walk-in closet, so you don't want to invade that space, and this is a bathroom, so you don't want to walk in, you don't want to invade that space, so pocket doors are great. And one thing to make sure, make sure you got enough head clearance when you're framing them. So we frame them at 84 inches high and most doors are 79 or 80 inches in height. So we know we have lots of room because there's a track that fits on top, which depending on which, which brand you buy, sometimes they're an inch and a half, sometimes they're two inches. But one thing we make sure we do is we leave two and a half inches in between. So all we do is when we frame a two by four wall or two by six wall, we just turn our two by sixes on their flat and we make sure that we nail and screw them, nail or screw them on the bottom. If it's a structural wall, which typically a, a wall that has uh, a pocket door in it isn't normally structural, um, unless, well, you'd have to have the header up there and you'd have to have the studs turned the other way. One thing that I always recommend, make sure that you put a temporary blocking in and screw it in so it's easy to pull it back out. And the reason why I say that is because until your drywall goes on those studs, as they're drying out, because when they come from the lumber yard, they're pretty high in moisture content because uh, they're typically sitting outside. So make sure you screw it because otherwise these guys are going to twist and you don't want them being in the way of your pocket door sliding in there. So, but key is, Make sure you un take these screws out when you put your drywall on because if you have to get this block out and the one on the bottom after the drywall's on, you're not going to be a happy camper. So make sure you remember. Sometimes what we do is we just write right on the stud, remove screws before drywall. So anyways, and make sure your little header there goes all the way back to the back of the door. And make sure you, get, make sure you give yourself enough room to run the full width so from the door opening right to the back of the door make sure you give enough room for the full width of that door um, and don't forget you will have you'll have a, a jam on here as well so you might have a three quarter or an inch and a half jam on there so you've got that space to work with too so anyways that's the main thing i would say is make sure you screw a block in there to keep those from twisting until the drywall goes on so and make sure you give yourself enough clearance you can always if, if 84 inches is too high for for your uh, pocket door, you can always build that down later. Um, but it's better to have it a little extra high. We always do them that high because we also too, some homeowners don't know what flooring they're gonna put down before they actually start framing in things like that. They might be putting three quarter inch flooring down or they might be putting laminate down or they might put vinyl strip flooring, you don't know. So make sure you give yourself enough room. Um, it's okay to have a little bit of extra space at the bottom there. Uh, that's airflow. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, happy framing. Have fun with renovations.